everyone so on today's video I wanted to show you guys how I do my lashes every day it's just this new look that I've been trying out uh, just like a new technique that I figured out on how to make my lashes look extra long um, really separated and PC not clumpy it's called the spider lash effect and it's um, been a really big trend lately also I am really inspired by Kim Kardashian's lashes because they always look so big and like so long and voluminous and just really really pretty like they really stand out and you'd be amazed how you can transform an eye with mascara your eye ends up looking much bigger much more awake um, and just much prettier I think in my opinion so um, I wanted to share my little uh, mascara routine with you guys okay so the first thing you're gonna want to do is curl your lashes with a uh curler obviously um, and I like to pulse like five times and then just let it uh, sit for like five seconds and I'm going to use my Maybelline Falsies mascara because it seems like the most relevant mascara to use and I'm going to begin by applying the mascara from the base to the tip of the lashes going side to side in like a like sweeping motion and then I'm going to start kind of shaping the lashes um, so once I've coated almost all of the lashes with mascara, I'm going to start to work with each one of them individually, kind of piecing them together, bunching them up a little bit, but not making them look too clumpy. So the more that I piece them together, the more I want to make sure that I'm getting rid of all the little clumps that are being created, if any. This also depends on the mascara that you are using, um, depending on the formulation of it, um, will depend on how many clumps you get, or if you get any clumps at all. This mascara is actually really good. I like it a lot, but that's just me. Everybody has different preferences. Okay, so I also like to make sure that I grab those lashes around the inner corner of my eye because those are always so hard to get. And um, usually I never really pay too much attention to them but with this look you definitely want to try to find them and try to add a little bit of mascara to them if at all possible so it's pretty obvious I already have long lashes but if I wanted to add more drama or if you need a little extra help in the lashes department you can definitely add falsies to this and do the same as that exact technique and it'll work just fine also going on to the bottom lashes which are a little bit harder a little bit trickier because they are closer to your skin than your top lashes are so there's more room for error but if you just sweep the wand back and forth like you did your top lashes making sure to coat each and every lash if possible and then from there working on each one individually just like you did the top lashes making sure to separate them while removing the clumps and um, that's pretty much all you do for the bottom lashes Okay, so I'm just using a highlight now to line the inner corner of my eyes just to make my eyes pop a little bit more, make them look more wide and more awake, just like Kim does. She always wears an inner highlight, so um, that's what I'm doing too. <laughs> and optional is you can curl your lashes afterwards just to give it a little bit more oomph, but it's optional like I said. And this is pretty much a before and after. And that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Bye!